first of all, I'm going to wet the brush and wet the horse to the bottom. I'm brushing all the hair towards the back of the horse, kind of in the way that the hair goes. Then I'm going to start with stripes, and I'm going from the point of the bottom and as straight as I can. And then I'm going to do about the same brush width, brush width apart again. Sometimes I do three if they've got a big bottom. Then I go from the point of the hip and I go straight, so not in the direction of the hair. And then from the point, strike downwards. And then backwards, downwards, backwards. If the hair and skin is a bit catchy, I'm going to hold it to make it firm. Then I go around the bum muscle just to tidy up any scraggy edges. So this bit's important because you can make a whole piece up, Peace eight up. town down. Eight down. I want to have a little bit of a healthy different distance, a healthy distance between my horse and I. Because if you're like right here and your horse is shoving into you all the time, then to me that's disrespectful. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who lives on Drury Lane? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Tips for horses that have a really stiff canter. This is a retrain horse that I had and he was really, really stiff in the canter. The very first thing I did was make sure he wasn't in pain. Had him checked by the vet and had the saddle fit checked. Next, I helped him learn how to canter without being stiff by lunging him in side reins. Very loose side reins at first and then working my way up. I made sure to establish relaxation in the trot and the walk before asking for the canter. And then in the canter, asking him to carry himself. So I support him with my leg. And in this video, I don't have a lot of contact, but eventually work up to being able to support him with the reins and the contact as well. Establishing a steady tempo in the canter is super important. That will help the horse relax over their back. And then asking them to use their whole body by holding a steady connection with the reins without pulling. I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. Happy llama, angry llama, dancing llama, flying llama, surprise motherfucker. This is why it's so important to pick out horses hooves before you ride. Just look at these huge rocks I found in this horse's hooves. If these weren't picked out, they could have created bruises and sores in the soles of your horse's hooves. Ouchie. <laughs>